Hey, welcome to Think Creative TV. I'm Matt Pullen, and this is our place to share all about how to use your iPad creatively in your classrooms. If you enjoy these videos, please don't forget to subscribe, and then you'll be kept up to date on everything that we release. Now let's get stuck into today's video. Okay, so in this video, we're gonna take a look at getting started with iMovie. Now, iMovie is a great video production tool. Uh, it partners really, really nicely with clips. I wouldn't say that this is a one or the other. I think there's a lot you can do between the two. But for this uh, tutorial, we're just gonna take a look at what you can do with iMovie, how you get started with it. So we're gonna choose iMovie, which is this icon by here. And when we first open it up, yours might look different to this. These are projects that you've currently got uh, open that you've been working on, and you can click into those and continue to edit them. Um, but you might just see this uh, plus here on yours. So we're gonna start with tapping on the plus, and you'll see that it gives us two options. It gives us movies, and it gives us trailers. We'll look at trailers in a different tutorial uh, later on, and you can find that amongst the other video tutorials on my YouTube channel. We're just gonna take a look at movie and just talk about some of the basics, what you can see on the screen, what each of the different things mean. So I'm gonna go ahead and tap on movie. Now the first thing you see is it opens up your camera roll with anything that you've already got on your device. So this is all my photos, all my videos. Um, and you can see that it does timestamp them. So you can know that if you know if you know there's a certain day that you took a photo that you want to use, you, you can find those things within here. Um, you can also you know limit it to just the videos. Um, and then you've got all of your uh, folders here that you can search through. Same with photos. Um, and also then if you've sorted them into albums, which I cannot stress enough if you're using your device for lots of media creation things you really do need to start thinking about um, putting folders together um, because it's really going to make life a lot easier for you uh, going forward in terms of searching for certain elements so when you've selected things you want you can create a movie i sometimes find it's easier to just start with the create movie though if there's if i don't know specifically which elements i want i can still access all of those things whilst I'm in the movie creation page. So let's just have a look at the anatomy of iMovie first. This is my timeline. As I select anything from up here, so if I go into my media, select something that I've recently added, here we go, this water cycle, I tap on the plus, that drops into the timeline. I then have my bar, which is this part here, which shows me where in the movie I am. I can scroll along just by dragging across the screen, and that gives you really fine control. Okay, so that's your timeline along the bottom. We can then add in additional by just going into our media. Let's say that I now want to add a photo in after this, so I'm gonna to get to the point at the end of my movie. I want to add in a picture, so let's just find something that we could add in. Here we go, it's a picture of an ant. Tap on the plus, and that's gonna drop that down, and that's how we can just continue to build on our timeline. There we go. Now I'm going to look at some of the added features in other videos, okay, so I don't want to overcomplicate this process, but if I tap on my video here, I have the options over here of adding in a voiceover. Now this is a really, really useful thing. The video that I've added doesn't have any sound. Let's say I want to add my voice over the top. I tap on the voiceover. It gives me a ready to record. You can see that, you know, am I talking loud, too loud? or too quietly, you know, you get that sense. And then you just tap record, gives you a countdown. And you can start to record over the top and you'll see that as the video plays through, you can see the part of the video you're in, in the video, in the uh, viewer up here. You can also see which parts of the video you've recorded over. When you're done, tap stop, tap accept. And now you've got that audio down the bottom here. Last couple of things to just quickly show you just in this basic overview. If I tap on the video itself, I can go to the start or the end of that clip, select that yellow bar, oops, and that will give me the option to drag to clip out the parts I want. And again, the, the great thing about the viewer window above is I can see exactly where I'm trimming it to. I'll talk about these options down the bottom in another, in another video because I don't want to go too deep in with this one, just want to show people how to get started. Same with pictures, very, very simply here. If I play through this, you'll see that the picture moves. That's called Ken Burns effect. If I tap on the picture, you'll see it says Ken Burns enabled here. 
pinch to position the start. So it might be that I want to start really close up. Like really close. It's going to be a big reveal of, of what is the, the image of. And then you go to your end picture, which is the big reveal. And then you'll see as you kind of scroll through, it just automatically adds that nice transition through the picture for you. You don't have to have Ken Burns on though. If I turn off Ken Burns, you just position the picture to where you want it on your screen. Okay, and now when you play through it, it's not going to move. So there's just a couple of options there. When you're done, when you're happy doing all your recording, and like I said, we're going to have a look at some of the other options in a couple of other videos. I tap done. It takes me back to that page. Always label, you know, what your videos are going to be called. So it's easy to find them later. It's going to tell you how long the video is for, how long you've, uh, or what date you recorded it on. Push return, and then if I go back to my projects, you'll see that, that now becomes a project on my screen. So there we go. That's getting started with iMovie. Please watch some of the other videos, and you'll find out all about the inspector, what we can do with the inspector, and how we can add great effects into our movies as we create them.